Hello everybody, this is the Epic Game Guru, and this time I'm coming back at you live with a little bit of some background gameplay on the previous stream for Dead Space Remake, which is a little bit of a foreshadow of things to come on my channel, which I will be explaining in the near future. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to talk about a more sensitive topic that involves me coming back all the way to Twitch and talking about everything that went wrong on Trovo's end, unfortunately, because of all the suspicious things that were going on on that platform. And this isn't really minor stuff, this is some some pretty questionable decisions that I saw on Trouble being illustrated and done and even implemented against both viewers and streamers as a whole. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an officer. I'm not any form of law enforcement or anything. But I am pretty damn sure that as soon as you start implementing a gambling type system into a platform, it starts to feel more like it's supposed to be a gambling website versus anything else. Now, normally I would just scratch my head and like just avoid the idea that maybe it's supposed to not be a gambling website but the difference here is that there's two specific types of currency on Trovo that make it very interesting when you take a look at it at first but then it also makes you scratch your head again and it makes you think why would they have two separate sets of currency that are both elixir and mana now the reason why these two apparently exist is that mana is designed for viewmanship that pretty much gets earned over time as viewers are seeing your channel while elixir is all the bought specific types of currency which is the same thing as a essentially bits on Twitch. Okay, now that we're on the same page of understanding what Elixir and Mana is, the main issues with these things is the fact that all the problems that could happen and occur on Trovo have happened on my channel, and it's gotten even worse to the point where I truly do believe that Trovo is essentially a scam, and I'm going to explain why. So Trovo has a system in place that is pretty much declared or used on their platform as a quote-unquote reward system for viewers who are on the platform. Consider this like a free type of earning, quote unquote free, I'm, I'm gonna say questionably free earning on this one, that you can give out to your viewers as a reward. But here's the part where things get very sketchy. Most rewards that streamers will give out on the platform are in the form of elixir, but guess what? Elixir is not a free form of currency. So as a streamer, you would essentially need to buy into these type of rewards and give them out to your viewers. That sounds incredibly fucked up. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to try to shake a, a fucking bacon here or anything. I'm, I'm not even going to try to fucking sugarcoat it. This, this is bullshit. Like, I don't... Oh, my brain cells are still trying to process the logic behind this. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to give out stuff to your viewers or whatnot, but the way it's done on Trovo, you're basically giving out money. You're gambling money into hoping to get more viewers on your channel. That doesn't sound correct or even morally correct at all. And if that doesn't just add fuel to the fire, another big problem with this is that bots aren't preventable to be able to win the rewards themselves. Somebody could literally just make a bunch of bot accounts and win treasure boxes off streamers. That's a pretty big fucking issue. As far as I could tell, there was no really good preventable ways to make sure that the bots wouldn't be able to do this. So even if you were to ban the bots on Trovo, they still have a chance of winning the elixir that you are giving out. So in other words, not only are you basically buying your views, you're also taking a huge risk of just giving the money out to bots. And if I thought that things could not get any worse on Trovo, I haven't even started to talk about Trovo Space, which in itself is a whole other different kind of monster. Trovo Space was basically their attempt and continuous attempt apparently to try to become something more like Discord with a lot of features missing and no great features and even limitations on features. I can't make this shit up. I have not been on a single platform in all of my life that limits its features more hard than Trovo does. I especially have never been on a platform that has ever limited its features behind a fucking paywall. Oh man, you probably thought I was kidding. I wish I was joking about this, like you cannot make this kind of stuff up. Trovo has a similar system to Discord where it doesn't just affect anything that's going on within that little weird form of Discord they have. It also affects your videos and clips on Trovo. And just to add salt to an open wound, if it wasn't already corroded with a ton of infections, Trovo finds a way to make things even worse. In order to make your clips and videos stay longer on Trovo, 
guess what? You have to pay more elixir into it. Yep. You have to give more elixir towards a streamer if you want them to keep both their VODs and clips longer on Trovo. Why is that a thing? Why is there a level system that literally forces the streamer to constantly stream in hopes of getting more elixir onto their channel so they can be able to keep their stuff there longer? I've never seen this on a single platform before aside from Trovo. This is the first time I ever heard of something this absolutely dimwittedly insane. To make things even more aggravating, I actually did have some pretty good clips and so forth on to Trovo itself. There was a lot of good things I managed to gather and gain out of Trovo as I was streaming on there. But if you're going to make me pay extra just to be able to keep my clips on a platform, then what the fuck, man? There's literally many other different platforms that are doing the same thing and are doing a much better job of it without requiring to delete any form of clips or any special form of video edits on their platform. Honestly, at this rate, I'm not sure if people are gonna be angry about the idea of me deleting my account, but let's be 100% honest. Is anyone really gonna be pissed off at me for deleting my account based on all these really anti-consumer moves that Trovo is doing for both viewers and streamers as a whole? I don't think so. At this rate, I'm just going to end up deleting my account on Trouble because this is just way too much to deal with. Like, it is absolutely absurd. Either way, hope you all enjoyed this video regardless. This has been the Epic Game Guru. I know this has been more of a semi both good explanation video and rant video. I usually don't do these forms of discussions most of the time, but this is Trouble that I'm talking about and personal experience, so there's really nothing else I can really say about it. Either way, hope you all enjoyed the video regardless, and I'll see you all next time.